What a day. What a day. What a day. Everything's all done. So, no, it's it's been one of those difficult days for me. I'm, I'm sitting trying to record the podcast. Phone goes off. A little thing pops up. But I'm choosing to be happy. And that brings me to the thing that I really, really have been hoping to talk to you about. Choosing to be happy. I've... Well, uh, with Miley Yiannopoulos showing up in the news uh, more and more and more, and him saying the things that a lot of people have been thinking, uh, look, homosexuality has some big, glaring zits on its face, which uh, both are distracting and indicate that they're not finished growing up. Zits. No, George, I'm not prejudiced. No, 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 no. Oh, you mean am I prejudiced against zits? Um, well, zits, zits can reflect diet problems if there's too many of them. I mean, I, you know, you need to stay away from the four whites the the four whites re, refined f- white flour refined white sugar uh cooked white potatoes and white rice and those are the things you should never eat excess carbohydrates not healthy i mean if you're a farmer i suppose you can eat bread a lot but wait, wait, don't get me distracted george fine no th- whatever it, okay, forget my zit comment just forget it fine whatever homosexuality has a problem that's glaring and annoying people well, I've, I've run into a few... Well, I think all of us, more and more and more, are running into our friends that are, um, uh, shall I say, they're having a meltdown in the middle of their lives or have a meltdown. Like, even if you're a homosexual and you're listening to me, uh, you probably have friends who are homosexuals that are having meltdowns. Not all homosexuals, of course, but a large majority... Uh, of the ones we think about. See, Tim Cook is a homosexual. He's he's open about this. The Apple dude, Tim Cook. He doesn't he doesn't go around broadcasting that all the time. He doesn't he doesn't go around and, and talk about how hard life is or how depressed he is. No, and it's it, no, no no. Tim Cook is not a happy person because he's the CEO of Apple. Tim Cook is the CEO of Apple because he chose to be a happy person first. And if you don't know why I say that, talk to anyone who works for Apple and talk about, ask about, you know, discuss their hiring process. Apple does not hire basket cases. You need to have your life together and you need to be a happy person who's ready to bring your own sunshine to your customers or to your work at Apple or else they won't hire you. Happiness is a choice, and and they know that. I'm sure there's lots of homosexuals that work at Apple. We got they got a CEO, and Tim Cook brings his own sunshine. But unfortunately, the well another one is Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper is a homosexual, but he he doesn't flaunt that in front of everybody on TV. Now, now Miley Yiannopoulos, I mean he he flaunts it, and I think he does that to get attention, in which. He, he, I think that Milo wears makeup and weird stuff. I say weird, like out of form, you know, not normal, a abnormal stuff to get attention. And he should. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant idea. But we have in our lives, not only friends who are homosexuals, but friends who flash it and have meltdowns. Milo Yiannopoulos flashes it, but he doesn't have meltdowns. What? What, what now? What, what's wrong? You know, problems. I, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it, George. Things keep coming at me in my life and I'm not going to stop my life. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to whine. I'm not going to complain about the things in my life. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to let it get me. It's going to disrupt me. It's going to delay me, but I'm not going to let it, let it. I'm not going to let my problems rearrange my schedule. And I'm not going to let my problems make me unhappy or affect my emotional state. I'm not going to do that. 
and you don't need to either. But we have friends who are homosexuals and they are letting their emotions rule them. They are letting challenges and and feelings inside become the dominant theme of their lives. And and they're not all homosexuals. And I, I, I would reject the idea that I'm even talking about all homosexuals. It just, I tell you what, I think that homosexuality has, has, has been reduced to, it's been trashed on and reduced to just an excuse to, 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 to do what's called blame shifting. It's not, it, I mean, not, you know, 15, 10, 10, 15 years ago, homosexuality was about honesty in your feelings. And are you allowed to be different anymore? It's a fad. As Milo says, you're homosexual, you're bulletproof. No one can hurt you. Uh, but b- because it's so rare, it, it's politically incorrect to to attack a minority. Th- that's what it is anymore. That's what it's become. If you have trouble in your life, you don't know what to do. <laughs> don't hurt me. Become the victim. And 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 having having gender identity issues, sexuality identity issues. It's the universal. Ha- uh, uh, haven. It's it's the it's the little cave that you can anyone can crawl into. It's the bunker. You just you burrow down, go into. Oh, I'm, I'm I have sexual questions about myself, and I feel sad. So everybody has to listen to me talk like an expert, and and I know more than anybody else, and no one can say anything about me, and and everyone has to to change their whole lives because you're hurting me, and I'm sad, and and and. <sighs> And there's no, there's no hope. There's no hope for that person. I mean, that, that's what, according to them, there's nothing that they can do to choose to be happy. You, you, I, I had a friend, I, I'd known him since he was a kid. I love the guy. I still do. I believe he's got so much talent and potential. And we were talking for the first time in a long time. And he, and he'd just come out of the closet. And he, he wears uh, mascara on his eyes, which I've always wanted to do. I think mascara on the eyes is awesome for men. It's something that I've always wanted to do since uh, college. I, I just think that's cool. Beautifying of the eyelids. Uh, that goes back to the book of Enoch, doesn't it? But I was talking with my friend and I, I told him, I said, I, I reject all labels. I think you should too. I don't think you should identify yourself as a homosexual or heterosexual. To me, you're just my friend. And he doesn't want to talk to me now. And I'm like, why don't you want to talk to me now? He says, you know, it can, y- y- conversion therapy is bad. I'm like, conversion psychotherapy? I, I don't, I'm not a psychotherapist. I don't try to conversionize. What do you, I'm like, what do you, it's, it's like, I, I told him to reject labels. And, and he thought I was trying to convert him into being heterosexual. I just, if if, there are so many, listen, there are so many people that if they just look at my YouTube channel, I got this, this guy on my YouTube channel, right on the, on the main page there. He's this motivational speaker. He talks about happiness and he says, stop the car where you are, pull over and look in the mirror and tell yourself that's the problem. I am my problem. If I'm not my problem, then I can't do anything. I can't help myself. There's no hope for me if I'm not my biggest problem. You you have choices you can make. And I'm not I, I don't I'm not gonna let homosexuality or anything else convince me that my friends can't make some type of a choice to help themselves and become really, really powerful and get awesome stuff done. And having gone over time, I need to get to the point. What do you want the story of your life to be? What do you want written on your tombstone? I don't mean what do you claim to want, but what do your actions say you want on your tombstone? Is your sexuality the most prominent item on your portfolio? Do you mostly see yourself as the one whom people reject? Do people who talk to you know that you will put them in their place? Do you bring peace? Do you remind people of the sunset beneath the golden linings? Do you encourage, inform, or advise? What's your auto-epitaph? That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.